All right, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Legacy in preparation for Eternal Weekend, uh, which is happening this upcoming weekend. Uh, I'm going to be starting out with uh, some combo decks. The first one we're going to be playing is this uh, Oops All Spells deck that I actually played in the Legacy Challenge this past weekend. Ended up getting 11th place, went 5-2. and two. Uh, The deck felt really good, so I wanted to give it a shot again. Uh, made, made a couple of changes to, to the list that I played uh, in the challenge itself. But, I mean... Pretty straightforward stuff here. Basically, we're just trying to get uh, under... I can't... Why can't I make these images larger? But basically, we're trying to get Undercity Informer or Balustrade Spy into play. We don't have any lands, so when that happens, we mill our entire deck, flip over Narc Amoebas, and uh, we can sack Narc Amoebas to Dread Return, and then Dread Return targets Thassa's Oracle. We have no library, so Thassa's Oracle is an instant kill. Um, we have a bunch of mana acceleration to get to, basically four is the, the key point here. We need to get to four mana to be able to kill with Spire Informer. So we have Chrome Mox, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual. Uh, we have some actual lands with uh, the eight ETB untapped lands as well as one of each of the uh, ETB tap lands to give us ten total lands. We have some disruption with Force of Will, Thought Seize, and a Pact of Negation. Then a bunch of cantrips to help us find whatever piece we're missing. So, uh, pretty like I said, pretty straightforward stuff. The sideboard has a lot of quote-unquote anti-hate. Uh, Leyline of Sanctity, mainly for Bajookabog, Tormod's Crypt, Nihil Spellbomb, things like that. Uh, Echoing Truth, Hercules Recall, Chain of Vapor to Bounce, Chalice of the Void, Churn of Sphere, Thorn of Amethyst, things like that. Uh, more Pact of Negations for needed more counter spells, like in the blue control matchups, stuff like that. And then Surgicals for Graveyard Mirrors. Um, so yeah, a lot of it's... Uh, fairly fairly straightforward stuff so we'll go ahead and get started and i will see you back in just a bit all right everybody we are back for round number one uh we opened on what we have here so we have four lands a thought season a brainstorm the snark maybe isn't really worth anything in our opening hand uh they mulliganed we're in the draw i don't know I think on the draw, I think this hand might actually be okay. Like, we don't have fast mana, but we have a turn one thought seize, turn two brainstorm. I think this, I'm gonna think I'm gonna try this hand. Is this deck Dece? I think it's pretty good, Raid. I think it is pretty good. Or at least I hope so, because decks like this make me happy. We're playing boo boo format. Oh, Legacy's great. Uh oh, we're getting chaliced. You get access to the foils too from the God account. Yes, you do, Reptar. Yeah, Legacy's great. Uh, does Lotus Petal change anything? Uh, I think I still have the thoughts use them, especially because they played Ancient Tomb. Ooh, I don't know what this card does. Five mana, four four. Add two mana. Basalt Monolith, or 6 mana 5-5, five, five. ETB they search for, interesting, uh, well, uh, hmm, I mean, I guess I could just take the only card that they can cast next turn, I don't know if I should be worried about this though, No, nah, I think I'm just gonna take Monolith. I'm gonna play the Lotus Petal just in case. Like, if they draw a Chalice, I'm probably gonna probably gonna brainstorm in response. All right, so they play Crystal Vein that we knew about. Mm. All right, let's just lead on Ponderosa. Yeah, we could keep some more cantrips. We already have another cantrip, and I, I really just need to find a combo piece because we have a fourth mana source, so we're going to give that a shuffle. There we go. So as long as nothing bad happens to us next turn, we should be good to go. Doing it for Doom, not for me. Right. Ooh, you love to see it. Gaz with the two months says, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. True words have never been spoken. Thank you very much for the two months, Gaz. Welcome back to the Doom Room. All right, so 
we know they have this. I guess they could play this this turn, but this puts the card on top, so... I'm not really sure what they could do. So it's four months on my screen? Oh, four, my bad. I was looking at two. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. It does say four months. I just don't know how to read. What's up, Sherwinator? How you doing today? Alright, so it's the city. Are they going to play Chalice? We have Chalice beat. Because we don't actually need to cast a one mana spell to combo off. So let's go ahead and cast our Balustrade Spy. I really, I don't like the way that the foils look. I was going to do that, but I just, I changed my mind because I really don't like the way that the foils look. All right, so we mill over our entire deck. We flip over some Narc Amoebas. We drag to turn with Thassa's Oracle, and we're on the game too. Even if they had main deck surgical, which is something they would never have, they can't cast it because of Chalice. So. Because they could have main deck Ravenous Trap. I mean, I've seen weirder things, so. This is Oracle. Alright. Moving on to game number two. Um. To be completely honest, I have really no idea what their deck is doing. I have to imagine it probably has Leyline of the Void, though. So... And potentially, uh, like, Trinosphere, Chalice of the Void, things like that. So I'm kind of leaning on these bounce spells. We definitely don't need Pact and Negation. Usually Pact is only good against opposing counter spells. So we don't need any of this stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about Thoughtseize and the draw. Thoughtseize, also, the other bad thing about Thoughtseize is, one, it's bad against Chalice, and they're on the play, so they can Chalice on one. And two, it's really bad if their Graveyard Hate is Leyline, because you can't Thoughtseize a Leyline. So I think I'd rather just cut Thoughtseize. I don't think it's actually very good, especially on the draw. And then maybe just bring in one Hercules and the other four bounce spells. Is there anything I'd want to cut for the other Hercules? I'm trying to cantrip. Again, bad against Chalice. Mm, I definitely want all my forces. I think I'm just going to do this. Reading is for the fish. Yeah, I know, right? Do, do, do. So game number two, we're going to be in the draw. I would imagine there's not a ton of interaction in this matchup outside of them having Leyline. I guess this setup is really bad against Surgical, but there's no way they have Surgical on their deck because they're a Chalice deck. So their hate, their hate is most likely Leyline of the Void. Possible I don't want the Circles Recall, but I, I really don't want Thoughtseize in the draw anyways. When we're on the play, I might consider bringing it back in the Thoughtseizes. Maybe over some cantrips, but we'll see. This used to be a Belcher stream. Well, it's Legacy. I did actually come up, I did actually build or brew up a, a blue Belcher deck in Legacy. But we gotta play Legacy this week because it's Eternal Weekend. So. Hmm. Sand, unfortunately, is not keepable. We don't have any starter mana. Yeah, we definitely can't keep this. They kept seven, so they probably have a ley line. Sand is good. I think I'm gonna keep it and pitch. Probably Brainstorm. I keep Pitch Brainstorm. They Ley Line me. If they Chalice me, I can Force Pitch Force. But then I don't have anything to Mox. I don't really think shipping this... Shipping this is kind of dumb, because if they don't have Ley Line and I draw a Ritual, I can just kill them. So 
I think I'm gonna ship brainstorm. I think in general I I like ponder more than brainstorm. Yeah, it looks like they have a ley line. Are you uh five up with Belchy? So many Doom Wake wins. Nice, nice Magus. Spirit guide made a more of us to under rich when I got there. Feels good, man. Yeah. Is there really that much of a difference between pitching the force and the other blue card though? Because like, I mean I can I could just force pitch force. It's kind of the same thing, right? Um, I'm just gonna ponder here again. We're looking now we're just looking for a bounce spell. There's the Echoing Truth and the Mana Source. Those are good cards for sure. Um, how do I want to play this? I think I'm actually going to draw the Preordain first. To hide the Echoing Truth from Thought Not Seer. Although if they play Thought Not Seer, I'm just going to force it anyways. But So we can put Truth third, this second, Preordain top. And then I'm gonna play my pedal out just in case they have like a thorn or something. I guess what I could have done is not held up Force of Will. I could have drawn. No, because then I'd have to crack the pedal. I don't want to crack the pedal to cast Echoing Truth. I just want to draw. Oh, this actually doesn't work. I was supposed to. I. Mm. Yeah, this is bad. I was supposed to draw the Echoing Truth and then the land. Or the land, then the Echoing Truth. Because now I can't play land plus Echoing Truth. Uh, I do not care about that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, see, now I kind of screwed myself. I guess what I can do is I can preordain into the Echoing Truth and then just Mox Pitch Force, play Restoration. But then I don't have Force of Will up. That's okay, though. Yeah, I messed this up. I should, I should, I should have put the Echoing Truth on top. Could have actually just kept that. No, because I don't have another black source. Okay. I think this is okay. Yeah. This is not what I should have done, but I messed up, so here we are. Nice 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they have that card in their deck. I can have that. Didn't even read my 5 story. I did read it. I responded to you. No, Chalice doesn't do anything. Thran Dynamo. That resolves. End of turn. Be a little echoing truth the ley line. Let's cast Balustrade Spy and see what happens. Flicker Wisp saw. I did not see the Flicker Wisp spot. Where was that? Later time I put a misclick on Flicker Wisp instead of Apparition Sign, so tapped it one life to activate. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. Alright. And again, I don't think their deck has Surgical in it. I mean, they could have Ravenous Trap, but. Does not look like they do. Looks like we are victorious. Two, three. All right. Nice little one and zero against Eldrazi. Um, yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed that match, and we'll be back in just a bit for round number two. All right, we're back here for round number two. We are on the play. What do we have? We have a hand with a lot of mana and a force of will. No payoff. No cantrip. Hmm. I think I am off this hand. It's really close. If this was a cantrip, I think I would snap keep. 
and likely just Mox Pitch Force can trip on one, but. Ah. This hand's worse, right? This hand's just all cantrips, but no blue mana. Does have a lot of fast black mana, though. Like, if I draw a combo piece, I can kill on turn two. And if so, like, combo pieces are good draws, blue mana's good draw. I think, th because this hand has a lot of good redraws, and I'm already on six, I think I should keep this. This hand's not perfect, but... I think it is an acceptable six card hand. See, the thing is, I don't think this deck mulligans as well as the, like, all-in Oops All Spells decks, because it doesn't have as much fast mana. But the reason I like the scene is because it just has so many good redraws. Well, we're not playing Belcher, Magus. So you're right, it's not a Belcher stream. That's because we're not playing Belcher. I already told you it wasn't a Belcher stream. It's where you normally find yourself winning with this version without the Spirit Guide effects. Depends on the matchup. I mean, you can win on turn one. Like, you can just go land, ritual, ritual, kill piece. But, like, I would say on average with the cantrips, probably, like, two, turn two and a half. I could have went Awakening Ritual Thoughtseize you, but... Or not Thoughtseize, whatever the spread's called. The lack of predation. <laughs> Not the best use of resources, though. All right. Let's see what we are up against. It's true. That is that is an excellent point. I'm expecting, or, oh, that's not what I was expecting. I was going to say Snow-Covered Island, but, ooh, okay. Oh, well, we win. Uh, I don't believe they have an interaction, so we're going to go for it. Is this good, or? Magus, is that what you call a Doomwake win? <clears throat> <laughs> uh boy. <laughs> you did already say it, I saw that, yeah. Alright, what are we boarding against Painter? I don't know what they usually have. I mean, I assume these bounce spells are good. <sighs> hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Relic or something? Yeah, that makes sense. No, they don't have Leyline, but they probably have, like, Relic, Tormod Script, things like that. I think I might just cut Thoughtseize on the draw again. Kind of do the same thing I did last time. It's not a similar matchup in terms of the cards in their deck, but it's similar in how the games play out. Like, I think so. Where I, I, don't, think th I don't think I want Thoughtseize on the draw. Let me cut this. Nah, I think I'd shape a cantrip. And the Leyline's Karn board, yeah. Karn's even more of a reason to have all the bounce spells in. You had a turn one win today? Nice. Alright, we're gonna go with this. I don't think I like Thoughtseize on the draw in most matchups. Two rank one, a cool pick, get a Doom Snake. Oh, guess. This hand is spicy. Uh, well, we're a, a, a mana source of way of winning on turn one with force backup, and if we draw, like, obviously they could have, you know, uh, graveyard hate, but this hand's definitely a key, for sure. They do have ley line. Well, we have the, the answer for multiple ley lines, so that's good. Now I should find a blue source. 
Is it worth playing out the Informer? Like, do we think they have, like, Lightning Bolt or something? They could have Pithing Needle. They could just Needle the Informer. But they're going to do that if they play Needle anyways. Keep it for a turn, you think? Yeah. I think I'm going to hold it. Yeah, so you should define blue mana. Um, that could be an issue, but we have Hercules too. I think I'm just going to let that go. <clears throat> yeah, so now because we would have to discard, now we should play it. Yeah, I agree. Because otherwise you'd have to go discard the hand size. Uh, blue mana? Not quite blue mana. Eight downs. I think we're going to attack them ten times with this. Do I like what I see? Is that a tomato? Sure. <laughs> I like tomatoes. That is not a blue source. Uh, I'm just going to discard Narcomoeba, I guess. I could discard the second Informer and just keep a, keep the blue card for Force of Will. That's probably better, actually. I don't think I need another Informer. I'm winning this race. Currently winning this race. Okay. Chat seems like he likes tomatoes. Do you know who else likes tomatoes? Oh god. <clears throat> it's a very, very interesting game, Will. I do I will agree with that. Blue men are better than green men in this deck. Well yeah, because you have actual blue cards, you know. Alright, well. That should be good next turn. Even at three forces, so even if they have double Pyroblast, we can still beat that. I think I should bounce these on their upkeep, though, so they can't play land and have triple Pyroblast. I Truth, they blast, I Force, they blast, I Force. Yeah, I think that's fine. Probably should have kept Recall, but... Alright, they're off it. They are off it. Well, that was a interesting match. Uh, we beat... Well, they mulliganed to six. They had double Leyline, but they didn't really do anything else. So they we, they kind of just gave us infinite time to find our our answers. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty interesting match. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you back for round number three. All right, everybody, we are back here for round number three of this Legacy League with Oops All Spells. We uh, won the die roll, so we're going to be in the play. And this hand is not quite a turn one, but a turn two. Uh, definitely going definitely gonna to keep this hand. This hand has a lot of upside. If they wasteland me, which land would I prefer them to wasteland? Probably the black source, because if I draw a cantrip, I'd rather have a permanent blue source in play, because this can make ritual the turn that I go off, so let's play that. Um, I don't know if I want to play this pedal or not. I don't think I do. Oh, the, I'm, the music's off. Don't worry, Twin. The music is not recording for... For YouTube. Oh, so they're dead. That's cool. I have it so that the music is playing on the stream, but not on the recording. Well, that was an easy game, chat. <laughs> Turn one planes. Opponent, this is legacy. 
Oh, man. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Plains Aether Vial dead. Opponents are all just paid actors? I don't think so. Yes. 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 All right. Dread return. Target Oracle. Yada yada. They're off it. <laughs> Tell them GG in chat. I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's kind of just business as usual. I think I'm still going to employ the same sideboarding strategy that I've been doing. Just cut the Thought Seizes for the bounce spells. I think Thought Seize is good on the play, but I don't know if I really want it on the draw. I want to keep Force because they probably have Surgical. Maybe I want to keep one Pact of Negation just as like a fifth Force for Surgical. Although Thoughtseize is good versus Surgical, and Rust in Peace, true. I guess the 2-2 as well, but we have Chain of Vapor and Echoing Truth for that. I'm trying to think, though. What, what would I rather cut than, than Thoughtseize, though? I could shave some cantrips. Yeah, they don't play that many Surgicals. I guess Cabal Ritual is pretty bad against Thalia. I could buy that. We could do that. We could cut Cabal Ritual for Thoughtseize. Because they're not playing Chalice of the Void. We could do like two Cabal Rituals and bring in three Thoughtseizes. How do you like that? I think that actually is, is, that's actually not bad. I think I like that. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and try that. What happens if you draw two Narcos? Can you not win? If you have Balustrade Spy, Balustrade Spy is your third creature. Yeah, you can also just hardcast Narcomipus, but you have to draw three of them for it to be bad. Although, if you draw two and have Informer, then it's it's a little bit different. But like, I think there is some merit to playing a Bridge from Below because of that. So you can, like... Well, I guess that you would have to play two Bridge from Belows, because then you could go Therapy, your opponent with one creature, get two zombies, and you would basically turn one creature into two, but... Well, the one bridge doesn't really help that. You'd need two for that, right? Hmm, can we keep this hand? The insane brainstorm plus spy synergy. I'm debating keeping this hand. It's not great, but... No, I think I should mulligan. Uh, uh, this hand's definitely better. I don't understand Brainstorm in this deck, to be honest. So, yes and no, Baku. There are some situations where Brainstorm can get you out of a pretty pretty dicey spots. So like, if you need exactly, uh, you know, multiple mana source and a force, or a force and a combo piece, like, there are some spots where, where Brainstorm can, can get you out of that a single, like, drawing pre and you only get to look at you only get one of the cards you know what i'm saying so like there are spots where you need perfects with brainstorms do i even play the land well now that i drew ponder i think i should i was debating not playing it with just brainstorm but i think it is worth playing it now like i might get ported but if they had port i could just brainstorm on upkeep so port i don't really care about it's just wasteland but i mean they're on five cards anyways i think this is fine like, I'm going to look for mana sources with Ponder anyways. Like, yeah, this is an easy shuffle. All right, not ideal. Let's hope I don't get Wastelanded. I'm okay with Port. Yeah, see, I'm okay with this. They have Rest in Peace. Uh, I'm obviously forcing. What am I pitching, though? I wonder if I should just pitch Echoing Truth. It's either Echoing Truth or Second Force of Will, I think. It's probably just Echoing Truth, right? Yeah. And then I can just brainstorm on my turn and try and... Depending on what I draw, I guess. Hmm... So 
so I'm a mana source short. The question is, should we brainstorm here? Yeah, we just need a ritual at that point. If we brick, though, get ported. Yeah, it's probably worth going for it, right? Although, if we lose our blue card and get rest in peace, then it's really bad. Like, if we don't find a blue card. Okay. That's actually not bad. Because we can go Awakening Thoughtseize them this turn. Get ported. Play another land the turn after. Keep Force Ponder. So we can just put Spy Mox on top. Because we know we're going to get ported, so there's no point in keeping the Spy for the turn after. Well, if they don't cast a spell, we're not going to be able to, Magus, because they have port. But if they cast a spell... Oh, so you're saying maybe just don't even Thoughtseize them. You're saying just maybe let them cast the spell, force it, and then untap and kill them. Incentivize them to cast a spell into the force. Right, because we can we can put back Thoughtseize land, play land, force pitch ponder, draw the Thoughtseize, play the land, mox the Thoughtseize, have four mana. So we could do that, hypothetically, and just not Thoughtseize them. Or no, we're gonna be a card short, right? So we put Thoughtseize on top, then land. We play land this turn, we have four cards in our hand, we force pitch ponder. Okay, yeah, we're still gonna be a card short then, yeah. Right, we're one card short. So I should probably just thought seize them then. Yeah, so in that case I should put back Spy and then Mox. Yeah. We're gonna be a card short next turn when I just thought seize them next turn. That's a, that's a fair point, too. So now we're going to get Wasteland ported. It's unfortunate. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to hold the Thoughtseize there. Alright, so we know they have a Plains. That's fine. Alright, we have to cast this Cantrip here. I think I'm actually in to keep this. Draw the Narcomoeba this turn, and then, then draw the Brainstorm after. Yeah, I'm actually into that. So now we can hold up Force Pitch Narcomoeba. If anything bad happens... Let me draw the Brainstorm. We can hold up the Brainstorm. I, I can't really afford the Shuffle, though, because I need the Balustrade Spy. We are so dead. I don't think we are. We just need to find, really just need to find a Black Source. Alright, so I'm just going to pass here. I'm not going to Brainstorm now. I think I'm going to wait till I draw at least one, at least the next card, because then I get three fresh cards. I guess I need a Black Source and a Ritual. Yeah. True, 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 yeah. No, you're right, Magus. So they're going to upkeep port me. I think I'm just going to let that happen. I think I'm, I'm planning on ending... I think I'm going to end step Brainstorm here. Yeah, because I can't really do anything with the cards now. Yeah, I think I should just pass. <laughs> oh, what a surprise, he says. I guess we could make a land drop. That's fair. Caracas. Hmm. Alright, let's brainstorm in response. I mean, I'm going to end up forcing that, but... This is really awkward. 
Uh, let's put back these two. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's a fast enough clock that we do have to force a will it. Uh, so I know the top two cards, so I don't really want to do anything here. The issue is... Um, the Dread Return on top is a card that we can't grow Mox, because we need the Dread Return on our deck to be able to win. So that's pretty awkward. Yeah, there's only one. Double port, huh? This is getting tougher. Ugh. I'm gonna kill one of my lands. <sighs> Do I have to brainstorm here? They kill a land, they pour to lands. I know the top card is Dread Return. So if the two cards under it are Ritual and a black card, then I should be okay, right? Two, five, two, yeah, okay. Ritual, black card, tap this, Mox, black card, ritual, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Oh, they're flickering Caracas. That's very interesting. I don't know why they wouldn't just kill one of my lands. Yeah, I must have just missed it. Uh, well, actually, now I can just... The question is, do I brainstorm here? What? Okay, so what gives me more outs? If I brainstorm here, knowing that the top card is bad and I get two looks, or brainstorm with three flat, fresh looks but one less mana? So if I brainstorm now, I would need to find Black Card Ritual, and if I wait, I would still need to find Black Card Ritual, right? Either way. Well, if the issue with waiting one more turn is they double port us next turn, right? Yeah. I kind of think we have to brainstorm now. Okay. Well, that actually does it, right? We can go to one. Because we can just cast the Informer with... Yeah, 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 okay. So we put back Chain... No, Dread Return... Spy... Excuse me. Yeah, Dread Return, Spy... Play this, untapped, cast the Mox... <clears throat> Alright, your turn. Hope they have nothing. Oh, they had Trap. Okay, we're dead. They drew a lot of hate pieces. Two Traps, a Rest in Peace, and a Spirit. We still almost won that game. I like they used two ports. What do you mean? Alright, do we want these Thought Seizes back? Or these Cabal Rituals? I'm not really sure what we don't want, though. Like, I think I want all the bounce spells. Oh, if they didn't port. I see what you're saying. I gotcha. I think I'm still just going to submit this. I think I like the number of Thoughts, Easy Cabal Rituals, things like that. Hmm. Sand is so close. Plan to simply be careful about turn wins because of trap. Attempt to go for a turn two or two spell skip. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. We'll be of one if we cast Brainstorm in the upkeep. No, we still would have lost to, to trap. Mana was not the issue, Hyper Inton. We just got we we got um 
trapped. Ugh. The thing is, we kind of have to be fast in this matchup, and this hand is incredibly slow. We have to go to five. Ugh. This hand's also not great. There's a lot of cantrips, though, so we can find pieces. I think this hand's a keep on, on five. <clears throat> right, yeah, this this has to be better than, than pretty much every single four. I don't I'm not in love with this hand, but we need a lot. And these are not what we are looking for. I mean, I guess I could keep this in case I get wastelanded, but... Like, I think I have to play to win the game, and playing to win the game makes makes it so that I need to find combo pieces and mana. Okay. My mod finger is getting itchy. Where's Wombo? Wombo's already in timeout. Or he's probably past his five minutes by now. That card I don't care about. I think I should brainstorm here. Because I can always ponder shuffle. So close. So close. One mana source away. Chat. Now what do we do? Ah. <sighs> This is tough. They have four cards in their hands. You just want to box, pitch. Wait, what? Oh, you want to box, pitch, Thoughtseize so we can go Ritual Spy and get around Trap next turn. The problem with that is they can just trap the Treasure turn. You know what I mean? So it doesn't actually get around Trap. for Thalia too. Yeah. I mean, I kind of wanted to try and Thoughtseize them. Like, what if we just mox, mox pitch the Ritual and Thoughtseize them? Is that bad? We do have Therapy, yeah. We do play Therapy. It's true. So what, you just want to go mox, pitch, Thoughtseize, go. Hope they don't have Rest in Peace. I guess even if they have Rest in Peace, we have Echoing Truth. So we can just wait a turn. Okay, that's actually not bad then. So we just put back, I guess, Preordain because it's the worst cantrip, and then Spy. Yeah, and then just go Mox, Pitch Thoughtseize, go. I like that. It gets around Ravenous, or it gets around Mind Break Trap. And then even if they have Rest in Peace, we can just take a turn off, Echoing Truth it, yada yada. Ooh, they have Port. That is unfortunate. Uh, yep, that's fine. Well, pass. All right. We're gonna draw. What was the other card we put back? Preordain, which is not good. Uh, yeah, go. That's what I got. I don't feel good about this game. Because now we're gonna get Flicker Wist on the Mox, probably. Which actually maybe isn't that bad for us, because then we could pitch Preordain and we get to cast Ponder. Like, they didn't have any two drops, or one drops with the vial, so they gotta have threes. Sanctum Prelate? Oh, well, that's bad. Yeah. Not good. Hmm. 
That's also really bad because now we have to Cabal Therapy ourselves when we go off and we can't therapy them for Mind Break Trap. Thalia, probably can't beat that. Unfortunate. I mean, I think, like, we're a pretty... Normally, we're a pretty huge favorite in this matchup because we can just kill them on turn one and they can't really do a whole lot about it. And we have thoughts he's for Mind Break Trap, but once they get to, you know, turn two or turn three and they can start doing this kind of stuff and... Okay, I have I've seen enough. We are We are defeated. Unfortunate. Mulligan to five, didn't have the best draw, and their draw was... I mean, they mulligan to five, but their mulligan to five was pretty good against ours, so it is what it is. I uh, hope to see you back for round number four. All right, everybody, we are back here for round number four of this league with Oops All Spells in Legacy. We are on the draw, and we have a pretty nice hand. We have a turn one cantrip. If we find a black source, we can kill on turn two with force backup, so... Definitely not going to complain about this hand. It's probably a Delver deck. We're not going to counter Delver. We may get Wasteland in on turn one, which is unfortunate. We find a Petal. It's not a Petal. So we just need... Let's see. So we do want to play around potential wasteland. Also, keeping all these mana sources makes their days as irrelevant, so they would have to have double force of will. So I'm definitely gonna keep all of these cards. Guess I will draw. I want to draw both of these by next turn. So the brainstorm's going on the bottom. I don't think it matters too much which order I draw these in. <laughs> I didn't queue into me, feels bad, man. Oh, Reptar. They revealed Preordain. So Daze is likely not going to be good enough, although... Does that change things? Mine is acceptable. So they're going to waste us. We're still going to have five mana, so no, Daze is not going to matter. I have to have double force of will in the, on their five card hand, which could happen, but is not very likely. <laughs> Pitch Narc Amoeba, cast Dark Ritual. <clears throat> Cabal Ritual. Former with the mana floating. Double trap. I mean, if they have trap game one, then you got me. If they have force, they should not let this resolve because I can just therapy them, right? Well, I actually can't therapy them because I have to sack this and I only have three Narcomibas left. So... get there looks like we got there <clears throat> if they have game one trap they wanted more oh yeah exactly pretty embarrassing if they had double force when we lost on youtube again <laughs> oh it's okay uh-huh and we will find our Dread Return, our Thassa's Oracle. Played around days the whole time. <clears throat> Spy with my Mel and I. All right, how do we want board? How do we want to board against Delver? So we definitely don't want these ley lines. Definitely don't want these surgicals. Um, I'm not really sure if I need. Bounce spells? I feel like it wouldn't hurt to play one bitch bridge from below. Yeah, I was thinking that too, just to make it so like you can therapy them, get the token, and still have three creatures in play. I guess that does make sense. 
It makes therapy better. Yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying, Twin. It's there's it's there's probably room for it. You could trim the fourth cabal ritual. Surgicals maybe relics. <clears throat> right. I don't really think I need I don't I don't I, until they show me something, I think I'm not gonna bring in these bounce spells though. I think I just want the pacts, honestly. Not sure what I don't want though. Cabal Ritual is not the best against days, especially if they're wastelanding you, because like this is two mana on the start and just it's pretty free for them to daze that. <clears throat> What else don't I want? Hmm. Maybe like two Cabal Rituals and a Cantrip? Could do that. It produces mana for days, but if it's your starting spell, it's not very good. I just don't know what else I would want to cut, is the thing. Plus, we have Petals and Chrome Moxes, anyways. Not a big Chrome Mox fan, we need Force Will backup. We could trim a Mox instead of a Cabal Ritual. I guess I could buy that. <coughs> We got fat clouds. <clears throat> we got fat clouds. Fat clouds for YouTube. Just get lucky with lands that can be wasted. Yeah. I'll try this. We'll see how this goes. Alright. Game number two. Classic border to Chrome Mox, have two in your opening hand. Hmm. This hand good enough. This hand's really close. The issue with this hand is obviously the second Chrome Mox, but it does have a turn one thought season. It has three mana. It's pretty close. We are on the draw, which might make this Chrome Mox a little bit more palatable. They kept seven. I kind of want to keep this hand. I want to. I kind of want to see how this hand goes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely gonna play the pedal first. If they daze my thoughts, I'm not sure I'm gonna pay for it though. I think I might just be okay with that exchange. Okay, that's not the worst. So we're going to play our land, we're going to play our pedal. Uh, I mean, obviously I could just jam it, but I'm not going to do that. Right, so they have Wasteland, Days, Delver, Force, Arcanist. Pretty sure I'm just going to take Force. question is, do I want to ponder here? If I vote with your study prayer from the challenge, I love the list. Oh, just the, the blue-black deck? Yeah, this I think this deck's a really good slasher. I made just a, a couple changes, not too many, but... I think I want to take Force of Will and just go Mox, Mox Pitch, Brainstorm, Cast, Ponder. Because if we hold, let's say we take Force of Will, pass... They Wasteland us. We only have three mana. The nice thing about casting Ponder now is it helps us find more mana sources to play around this days. Because that is kind of their last relevant card. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, Magus. I'm gonna pitch brainstorm and cast Ponder. <clears throat> I wonder if we're gonna daze this. I, I don't really care. If they daze that, I'll just let it let it happen and play a second one. Them dazing this is so good for me. Like, they obviously don't know I have a second box, but... So maybe from their perspective, they are supposed to daze it. Because it's only really bad if I have a second box, but... The days of the show of days. Yeah, that's true too. 
Right, so it kind of doesn't make sense to not daze the Thoughtseize and then daze this. Yeah, that's a good point. You could daze this, which I'll probably just let it go. There's no point in holding on the Ponder because they're just going to Wasteland us anyway, so we're going to be in the same spot next turn. Changes that I make. Uh, I'm trying to remember the challenge list. Ooh. Is that good enough? Hmm. Not quite, right? I guess what we could do is we could just draw... We could just top and then wait a couple of turns. Seriously considering playing the deck for at least one of the eternal weekend events, so I might try to test a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm not sure. I think we do keep these. I wish these were dark rituals, but... What can you do? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to YOLO it on next turn, because we know they have days. All right, that just seems really stupid. Although we can actually beat days, right? Because we can play Informer, pay a mana for days, and then next turn we can just kill them with the with the Mox land. I guess that's fair. We don't actually we can actually do that. We could potentially just go for it next turn. Need your up to date Pioneer Omneth list. Uh, I don't play Pioneer Omneth, so I don't. I'm not sure what to tell you, baby Ken. You think they kept in bolt? I guess they probably had to keep in a couple of bolts. Well, the Wasteland doesn't do anything, right? Like, them having a second Wasteland doesn't matter. I think I think we are supposed to go for it. <clears throat> we know that of their, of their four cards, we know they have Daze, Flooded, Arcanist, and One Unknown. I mean, obviously it's bad if they draw fours. But is it better if we wait a turn? I know that. We can just pay for days and then untap. We have four mana. We can go Mox Pitch Ritual, cast Ritual, pay for days, cast Informer with no mana floating, and then have the have the Mox to kill them next turn. Or we could play around them drawing Force of Will, and we could wait a turn. They wouldn't necessarily keep both on top either. Right, yeah, that's fair. I think it's better to wait one more turn, though. Because then we get the player on Surgical, too, because we have the Packed Up. So we get to... Not only do we have Days Beat, but then we just... Yeah, I think I think this is better. Could draw a Cantrip and draw into Bolt. That's fair, too. It's reasonable. And yeah, there's a Ponder. Oh, they're just going to play Arcanist? Oh, because... Okay, so they had to have drawn Force then, right? Because there's no way they would they would go only days up. You know what I mean? So their hand has to be forced days ponder. Right? The, I don't think there's any way they would play Arcanist there if they didn't draw Force of Will. Oh, we don't beat days plus Force, though. We only have four mana. <clears throat> Well, they could just cast a ponder looking for another force of will. If they didn't if they didn't find a force of will, they definitely should have cast ponder there, I think. I mean, I guess we can we can go for it, but cuz it's probably not getting any better. Well, it's definitely not getting any better now that they have the arcanist in play. But Should have cast it last turn. Yeah, well, it's different though, right? Wait, they pitch days? No, they pitch days. They pitched days. Why did they do that? Well, that was a throw. All right, we take those, I guess. That's definitely a Doomwake win. 
I'm not really sure why they pitched days. They had me beat multiple ways. Infinite ways they had me beat, but... Uh, interesting. I mean, I guess we take those. Uh, yeah, not really much to say there. Uh, probably should have lost that game that went to game three, but here we are. We're 3-1 uh, and one right now, and uh, I'll see you back in round five, the final round, in just a little bit. All right, everybody. We are back here for the fifth and final round of our Legacy League with Oops All Spells. What do we have here? Not the greatest of hands. We don't have a combo piece. We do have double Thoughtseize, though. Not sure. This hand's kind of weird. I think I'm not really in on keeping this hand, but... Yes, they do Slasher. I think I should mulligan this on the draw. Thoughts he's a little bit worse on the draw, too. On the play, I might consider keeping this, but... Uh, so this hand has a land and a cantrip, a force of will, combo piece. Uh, I think I keep this and actually put back the second combo piece. Or I can put back the therapy. Putting back the... Yeah. I think I'm going to put back the therapy. T Room True, thank you for the fall. I do appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Alright, Scalding Tarn. Preordain Resolves. Hmm. Drew another force of will. So we're going to preordain on one. Looking for mana sources. Uh, definitely bought of that. I think I should keep this, though. Scalding Tarn for Snow Covered Island means we probably have a decent amount of time to try and set up, so. I think I'm okay keeping, okay keeping the other cantrip here. Uh, exclamation point deck or exclamation point deck list should get you the the deck hoka plus one chrome box all right well there's a cabal ritual which is not bad finding a black land would be nice here okay do we want multiple lands i don't actually think we do i think i'm going to top this but i don't because this is slow if this was an untapped land i might consider keeping it but i think it's just a little too slow for me I mean, it's greedy to bottom that, but I, I mean, I have so many mana sources in my deck. Not missing land drops? I didn't miss a land drop. It's an Ice Fang Codal. That is fine. So they tap out here for something like an Oko, and then they would need double force backup if you find a mana source. Definitely not countering Oko. Show and tell? Well, I guess I have to counter that. Probably dead, but... Mm-hmm. I pitched Omniscience, so I'm almost certainly dead. Unfortunately, you can't put the, the Spy into play because you deck yourself and then you died a decking, but we were dead anyways. Game number two. Do we cap both lands to kill turn four with two force? Yeah, I wasn't even sh I didn't know that they were playing show until I thought they were just playing some kind of blue Snowco deck. Now, I mean, I'm not sure how different my cantrips would have been if I had known they were on show and tell. I think they would have still largely been the same. Uh, I definitely just want Pacts. They don't usually have any permanent base disruption, so I don't think you need the bounce spells here. Ley line of anticipation, kill your opponent on turn zero. Imagine. Evening B1W2E. Alright, what are we cutting against show and tell? Are we just going to cut some cantrips? 
I think so. Like, I kind of want to keep all the thought seizes. It's going good. Going Bwe. Okay, good to know. Uh, yeah, I think this is how I want to sideboard. I can see boarding out these tap lands. Because you may not really have time for tap lands in this matchup, but... Let's try it. <clears throat> In general, I just want to be as fast as possible, and I don't want to try and dirtle around with cantrips. I just want to try and kill them with force backup. Their deck does not give you a lot of time to mess around. Well, I can't keep this, unfortunately. We have no starter mana sources. Eh. They kept seven. Uh, I think I am supposed to keep this and just put back Narc Amoeba. Turn one. <sighs> hmm. The question is, do we therapy on one? And if so, what do we name? I could name Force of Will. Because then if I draw a Dark Ritual, I can kill on two with Force Backup. You think this is a Mole Slasher? You want to go to five? I don't think this hand's a mulligan. I think this hand's fine. I mean, obviously we need to draw mana, but we have a Force of Will and a Therapy. <clears throat> I think this hand's better than most fives. <clears throat> Maybe not most fives, but I think it's better than the average five. I'm waiting for Thoughtseize on turn two. After they cast a cantrip? Yeah, that's reasonable, too. I can just play tap lane, go. Yeah, maybe that's actually better. Because then they cast their cantrip first, and then we can try and therapy. Yeah, that's that's just better. I like that. You can go by standard for mana traders? Probably not. All right, Tropical Island, go. Oh, so they have Veil of Summer. Yeah, that's the issue with waiting, isn't it? Mm. Right. Forgot about Veil of Summer. Uh, this is gross. I think I'm not going to therapy them. I'm just going to pass. Now if we draw a Dark Ritual, I can actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana, therapy them, and then also have Force Backup. Alright, so Dark Ritual should give us a kill here. That is not a Dark Ritual. I mean, we're, we can still go for it with Force Backup. It's probably not getting much better. I think I'm down to go for it. It's not 100% likely to work, but, I mean, here we are. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool. So they probably have Surgical? No, we still have Force for Surgical. They probably have Surgical. Maybe they have multiple Surgicals? I don't know. Maybe they have, like, Surgical Bus Veil of Summer? Because we they kind of played like they had Veil of Summer on turn one, right? But I mean, I still think we're supposed to go for it with Force Backup, especially because next turn they can just play Lane and have Show and Tell. We kind of have to do something now. I can't possibly imagine their only interaction is Surgical and nothing else, though. Especially because they didn't cast Cantrips in the first two turns, but. I'm not really sure what they're thinking about here. Oops. All right, we are dead. GG's. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough, tough situation. I think, again, I, because we, we mulliganed and they were representing putting show and tell on the stack next turn, I think it was right to go for it there. Just kind of unfortunate how, how it ended up. But, yeah, I went three and two. Deck felt pretty good, but... Um,
yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, stay tuned for the next video.